Peppa Pig the Tooth Fairy. Once upon a time, there was a clever little pig named Peppa. She was very proud of her teeth. Grunt, grunt, brush, brush. Peppa and her brother George knew how to take care of their teeth. They brushed them every morning and every evening. Peppa and George loved to playing dentist. Peppa would pretend to be the dentist, and George would be her assistant. George's toy dinosaur was the patient. What lovely clean teeth you have, Mr. Dinosaur! Peppa smiled. Grrr! Said George. One day, after playing their dentist game, Peppa and George were eating their dinner. Suddenly, something fell onto Peppa's plate. Clatter, clatter! It, it made Peppa jump. What's that? She asked. Ho, ho! It's a tooth. Daddy Pig laughed. But well, where is it from? Asked Peppa. Why don't you look in the mirror? Said Mummy Pig. Peppa looked. She had a big gap in her teeth. Oh no! Peppa cried. Do we need to go see Doctor Elephant? Ho ho ho! No! Said Mummy Pig. It's just a baby tooth. It's meant to fall out. A baby tooth? What's that? Asked Peppa. A baby tooth is a tooth that falls out when you are young. Explains Mummy Pig. A new one will grow in its place. What should I do with my baby tooth? Asked Peppa. If you place it under your pillow, the tooth fairy will come. She'll take your tooth and leave a shiny new coin," said Mummy Pig. That evening, while Peppa watched the television with her family, she kept thinking about the tooth fairy. When I grow up, I want to be a tooth fairy," said Peppa. Daddy Pig chuckled. "What about you, George?" asked Daddy Pig. George pointed at his dinosaur. "Dinosaur." He growled. <laughs> Come on, George! Shouted Peppa. We don't want to miss the tooth fairy. They both ran upstairs to get ready for bed. What are you doing, Peppa? Asked Daddy Pig. Peppa was carefully brushing her baby tooth. I want it to be nice and clean for the tooth fairy, said Peppa. Snort, snort. Peppa tucked the tooth under her pillow. Are you sure the tooth fairy will be able to find it? She asked. I promise," said Mummy Pig. Just you wait and see. Good night, Peppa and George. Good night, Mummy. Good night, Daddy. Hee hee hee. I'm going to wait up all night for the tooth fairy," Peppa said. "George, let's not sleep." George smiled and nodded. Peppa waited and waited. Snore, snore, snore. She could hear something. "Is that the tooth fairy?" Peppa wondered. "George," she whispered. "Did you hear that? Can you see the tooth fairy?" He climbed down to look at George. He was fast asleep. It was, it was him making that the noise. I'm much better at staying awake than George. Peppa sighed. She settled back in her bed. After a while, her eyes started to close. She quickly opened them again. I'm going to stay awake and see the tooth fairy. Peppa said to herself firmly. Snore, snore. But you're soon asleep. Tinkle, tinkle. What was that? It was a tooth fairy. Hello, Peppa. She whispered. Would you like a coin in exchange for your tooth? The tooth fairy gently took Peppa's tooth from under the pillow 
and put a shiny coin in its place. What a lovely clean tooth! The fairy said. Thank you very much. Flutter, flutter, flutter. The next morning, Peppa found the shiny coin under her pillow. Mummy, the two fairy did come after all. She shouted, jumping up and down. Oh, I wish I had seen the tooth fairy. Peppa sighed. Next time, I'm definitely going to stay awake all night. Snort, hee <laughs> hee. The end. What is your favorite part of the story? My favorite part of the story is that the two fairy finally came, and Peppa was so happy that she got her too. Peppa Pig, Peppa goes swimming. It's a beautiful, warm summer day. Peppa and her family are out at the swimming pool. Peppa, George, let Daddy Pig put on your swimming armbands," says Mummy Pig. Today is George's first time at the pool, and he's a bit scared of getting in the water. Why don't you just put one foot in?" suggests Daddy Pig. Maybe George should try both feet at the same time," says Mummy Pig. Splash! Mummy Pig convinces George to jump in the water, and he loves it. Grunt, hee <laughs> hee, snort, shouts George happily. Ho ho! Well done, George," snorts Daddy Pig. Rebecca Rabbit and her brothers, Richard, and their mother, arrived at the pool too. Hello, everyone! cries Rebecca. Squeak, squeak! says Richard. Richard, hold on to the float so you can practice kicking your legs, says Miss, Mrs. Rabbit. George, would you like to try kicking your legs too? says Mummy Pig. Hee <laughs> hee! Snort, giggles George. Ho ho! Very good! laughs Daddy Pig. But please try not to splash. Big children don't splash," adds Peppa. "Big children are very good at swimming," declares Peppa. "When George and Miss Richard are older, they'll be able to swim like us, won't they, Rebecca?" "Yes," says Rebecca, as she watches the boys kick and splash. Peppa and Rebecca race each other up and down the pool with their swimming arm bands on. They are having lots of fun swimming and splashing in the water. Oops! Richard has dropped his toy watering can in the pool. Mummy, where? cries Richard. Sorry, Richard, I can't reach it. It's too far down, says Mrs. Rabbit. Luckily, Daddy Pig is an excellent swimmer. He takes off his glasses and dives down to get it. Ho ho! There you go, snorts Daddy Pig. Squeak, squeak! Says Richard. Well done, Daddy. Says Mummy Pig. Yes, thank you, Daddy Pig. Says Mrs. Rabbit. Oh dear! Richard is so happy to have his watering can back. He splashes Daddy Pig with water. Hee hee hee! George laughs. What a silly little piggy and rabbit! Everyone has a fun day swimming at the pool. The end. What is your favorite part of the story? My favorite part of the story is where Richard pours water on Daddy Pig. Peppa and George love Easter. It is Easter morning. Time to dye the eggs. Yells Peppa. She and George sit down at the kitchen table with Mummy and Daddy Pig. They take turns dipping eggs into bright colors. Peppa dyes her eggs in the color of a rainbow. George adds spots to make his look like a dinosaur egg. Roar! He growls. If you dyed an Easter egg, what color would you do it? I would make it pink. 
with purple and yellow stripes. What would you do? The doorbell rings. That must be Granny and Grandpa Pig, says Daddy Pig. Peppa and George run to the front door to give their grandparents hugs. We are here for the egg hunt, Granny Pig explains. Hooray! Cheers, Peppa. The egg hunt is her favorite part of recess. I mean Easter. Mummy Pig carries the basket of eggs outside. We will hide the eggs all over the garden, she says. Peppa and George cover their eyes while the eggs are hidden. It's hard not to peek, so Granny and Grandpa Pig offer to help. Peppa giggles and squirms with excitement. Ready, set, go! Daddy Pig shouts. Peppa's off, off in an instant. She quickly noticed something unusual in the clover patch. It is a bright green egg. George is looking round too, but instead of an egg, he finds a dragonfly buzzing along in a zigzag pattern. Peppa skips to the garden. She finds a lovely pink egg hidden among the tulips. I found another one, Mummy. He squeals. George races after Peppa. He spots a butterfly in the garden and watches it flutter along. The butterfly lands on a purple egg near Peppa's feet. She puts the egg in her basket. Hey, what other eggs do you see? I see a polka dot one and a tree red, and the and the rainbow one that Peppa was holding earlier is next is behind the bush. Let's check it out if they find them. And if they do, we are going to tell them that we found them first. Peppa checks inside each flower pot. In the last one, he finds a bright orange egg. George keeps searching. He turns over a watering can, but all he finds inside is water. Peppa is still on the hunt. He looks behind a pile of rocks and finds a smooth red egg. George picks up something too, but it's not an egg. It's a friendly inchworm going about its day. Peppa and George look by their toys near. Next, Peppa sees something shining in the corner. In the in her container of chalk, it's a bright blue egg. George has still not found any eggs. Peppa wants to help. Try the basket, George. Peppa suggests pointing to her bicycle. George looks in the bicycle basket, but it is empty. George frowns. The hunt is almost over, and he has not had any luck. Peppa has an idea. She asks Daddy Pig to lift George so he can see the whole garden. George sees a lot of eggs in the tree, but they're not the kind he's looking for. Daddy Pig gently places George back on the ground. Crack! George has found an egg. He claps his hands. Everyone laughs, including George. Peppa knows something else that will make George laugh. She brings him over to the watering can, where the ground is now slippery and wet. It's the perfect muddy puddle. Peppa and George have have fun as they splash and splish. Happy Easter! What egg do you think was the hardest they had to find? I think it's I think. It's the orange egg that they found inside the flower pot. The end. What is your favorite part of the story? My favorite part of the story is where where George turns over the watering can and all that comes out is water. <laughs>